Hello, this is Project Lead the Way Manager Train Project. I am going to make the stack. Um, stack's got a nice chance to work on your Evolve. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's do it. So, new, created drawing. And I haven't been perfect on all my videos, but I do say at some point in time, you need to make sure you save as and save your work. Uh, I have a Miniature Train Project, and you can see I've done a bunch of these already. So this is piece number two, and it's called the stack. And then I always put a name on it, because I think that's just a really good habit. You can also put a date on it if you think you need to. All right, now we're going to do a revolve here. So we have to draw a profile of the stack. And it's a little dicey. It's not an easy thing to do, so let's see how we do here. Uh, the bottom has a diameter of 0.50, but we're only doing a radius, so 0.5 slash 2. And then we go up 0.25. Now there's a diagonal that goes up from there, but I don't know the angle. I could do some trig and figure it out, but I think the better way to do it would just be to go up and uh, blast it out from there. Um, I'm actually going to try and do all of this and revolve it once. Uh, another way to do it is to do all of it and to um, to extrude out a hole in the middle, but there's no reason for that. Uh, we're going all the way up 1.5 to start. And then there's a diameter at 1.5 of 1.25. 1.25 slash 2. So that sets a point and then it connects to this one. So that is really the only way I can see off the top of my head that you want to do that. Um, yeah. Now it's got a hole down the middle that's uh, 0.875 deep. So I'll come back to that. I'll do that one later. Let's get the outside done. This one's pretty cool because you're going to put it at an angle, which I never do angles. So we make it as high as we want. We just go all the way up here. And it's supposed to be at a 15 off the vertical. So that's 105. 90 plus 15. And it locks that one in place. And then I said this is 1.75 up. I've already gone 1.5. So let's go 1.75 minus 1.5 up. And then come horizontal trim those off and we're good I am going to finish this and revolve it all at once I think that's the best way to do it uh, this one should just you know I'll call it a construction line it's going to race but you never know you might need it um, so on the top it's got a uh, 0.875 diameter so we, we're going to go out 0.875 over 2 and then we're going to come down as far as it tells us to so it's come down 0.375 so it's like there's a little cup there All right? and again I'm just going to come over well, I'll come over horizontal it should give it to me it should snap to that and I need to start trimming some of these away so I can see what I'm doing All right, that's got to go that's a no problem there were two here, so I got to get rid of both of them. All right, doesn't like that. Let's see if I can trim off the top here. Nope. Eh. For those who don't know why it won't let me, it's um got dimensions to those lines, so it won't let you do that. All right, let's see what we got here. We're gonna go over, and that one's got a hold down the middle of 0 0.375 0 0.375 slash 2 and then it comes straight down um, a total of 1.5 so it's 1.5 minus 0 0.375 uh, way too far I obviously messed up my dimensioning or mistyped uh, so let's just fix it 1.5 minus 
0 0.375. There we go. And then it comes over from there. Cool. Alright, so that's it. Now I just got to get rid of a lot of things. Um, let's see if they'll let me trim some of these. Now I'm going to start erasing some dimensions. Cancel. So let's erase some dimensions. I'm just clicking on them and hitting delete. Yeah, that should work. Trim away the rest of this. This, this, this. Cancel, I still have a dimension to that. Now let's try to rotate to see what happens. So hit home. I'd like to hit home. It's not giving me a home button up here. Odd. Not a problem, I just move it and then revolve it. This piece I want to revolve. This is the line I want to revolve it around. Hit OK, and there is my stack. It's got a hole down the middle. Doesn't have a hole at the end. It's got a little cup up here. We're good to go. So let's just change the color. Um, I've been going with metallic colors everywhere here. Um, got some expanded metals. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, green polished. Looks metallic to me. Save it. And we're done. Good luck.